Okay, here we go for um stupid thing. Okay, we go for the let's get it right. Star Trek: The Next Generation, the Data Collection VHS. Now this is actually pretty cool. I I didn't know these things existed. I saw VHSs online, but there's a little thing. This is back in the day stuff. You move the thing, and it'll give you all kind of interesting facts and what's going on. I think there was a better way to spin this, but we'll just do it on this side. And I thought it was pretty cool. So, I just thought um, it was a pretty neat thing. You don't see this anymore when you buy, buy things. It's just, you buy the case, open it, and that's it. <laughs> okay. So, um, this is where all all the episodes that are going to be on this um, thing. They're going to have the descent. We'll show the, some of the later... The last episodes, then you got a 111, 64, and 35. I think they would have included the um, first episode, which was um, Far Encounter Far Point or whatever, but maybe that doesn't, yeah, data wasn't that big in that. Okay, we're gonna open this now. We're gonna take it off. This is what it looks like. We have the f four VHS tapes in here to cover all that. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Actually, you know what's the thing is. I have to sell. Oh, there it is. I thought it was missing, but it's not. You know, when you buy things from the flea market, sometimes they don't give a shit. But th this this piece was um got caught. It forms the face of data. Pretty cool. Nothing wrong with having data. They should have put something different on both sides though. All right. Um. Then it tells you all the information about the episodes on each side too, which is pretty cool. Um, this was made in, let's see what year this was made in, 1997, a long while ago. Okay, let's take a look at all the tapes now. You always got to do damage control. Even though I can't take them back, I don't have to put them in my VCR if they're busted. Okay. I do check them when I'm there. You can only check tapes so good in front of people, they'll, they'll think you're stealing from them or something. 46 minutes, so each tape is about 45 minutes long. Um, no mold on this tape. Looks like the label's very good, not falling apart either. Passes that test. And then the tape is good. That tape is pretty good. Go to the next one, the Measuring Man. Um, 46 minutes long. 1989. Well, that was when the, the episode was. It doesn't, that's not when the tapes were made. Um... No mold on this one. Give it a shake. Um, this one that's a little more sloppy with the label. That's just that shake. So I'm gonna go through it again. I go through levels of checking tapes. I look. I look at that. There's no mold on the tape at all. That's important. Then you gotta check the label just as for the hell of it. See if it's you know how good they did. Then you gotta do the shake to make sure there's not any moving broken parts on a tape because if you put it in your VCR it may not come back out um, and then you gotta check to see if the tape's not all moldy on at the top you think I'm going crazy you know I've had problems so you gotta be beware of it the next one is descents part one and two this one wasn't rewound all the way either um, this one looks like the label wasn't put on very good look at all these marks in here see you gotta realize these are marks around the plastic if you can look closely, I'll show you. You can tell. And um, that means that the tape is pretty much 100% intact. So um, that's good. Mold, no free, free mold. Label is kind of shitty. This one's kind of not really falling off, but it's not like the first one we looked at. The shape passes that and that. All right, put that down. Now we look at the last one. They're all 46 minutes long, hero worship, no mold or anything. Um, yeah, that, they didn't put that label on very good. Um, shake it, there's nothing, sounds good. And that's that. So, does it matter what way you put these back inside the case? Not, no, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter at all. And look, there's all these special things, barcodes on them, I think. Yeah, they all have barcodes doesn't matter as long as you put them back. Now I own one of those special next generation VHS things. 
And um, I never owned one of these before. And I'm surprised I found one. You don't see these in uh, flea markets and stuff. But I found one today. Alright, make sure you put the second thing on. And that's it. And this is a slip-on cover. This has the little thing you can move around. You put that on, and that's it. Alright, bye-bye.